Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who created us to be relational beings. A God who created us that we might be uh, in relationship with him and also with each other. Um, praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. But let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Um, you know, I think this is a great verse to think about as we think about the past year, about COVID, uh, the pandemic, and all that we've not been able to do, uh, not meeting together as often or having to do things online in order to protect each other, wearing masks, all these things has really taken away our fellowship and really taken away uh, our discipleship time. Uh, we spent the last year at home. We spent the last year, if we did come, you know, again, you know, wearing masks and stuff and, and it was limited fellowship. Uh, with many of the people of our church families, and we want to change that. Um, the, the truth is, is that it's easy to get out of the habits. It's easy to to you know stop going to church or or to you know stop reading the Bible as much or to stop going to Bible study. Uh, and when we stop those things, it's harder to start them back up again. Um, oftentimes, we end up filling those spaces. They become voids with other things, and then when it's time to start going again. It's harder to go. Oh, I don't really want to drive that far. Oh, uh, I don't really feel good today. Or, oh, I'm just not sure about it. Um, and yet it's important, uh, vitally important in our, in our human beings, in our relationship, to have these relationships that kind of fulfill us, that, that kind of fulfill what God, how God has designed us. Um, God has designed us to be in relationship with one another. Even though we don't always get along, even though we don't always see eye to eye, we kind of complete each other in this whole process. Um, and so God brings us together as the body of Christ, uh, and, and we become his body. We become, uh, we, we, we begin to represent him at, from the church level. Uh, and we do that through our Bible studies, and we do that through Sunday school, and we do that through the worship services, and, and we want to represent him. But in order for us to be completely fulfilled as he designed, we need to be a part of these things. We also need to be a part of the fellowship. Uh, many of us who've been around the church for a long time uh, remember probably Way back when, when of course I'm, I'm thinking toward the, the, the 70s and 80s when I was growing up and, and, and 90s right after that where, you know, it was common to get together not only for Sunday morning worship, but also for, for Sunday night church, uh, maybe through Bible studies or, or Wednesday night prayer meeting. And then oftentimes we would spend, uh, we would go out afterwards and, and get some pie or if it was part of the teen group, have some fun. Um, and we had that extra fellowship. And yet today lives are so busy. Um, most churches don't even have Sunday night services anymore, or maybe they don't even have prayer Wednesday prayer meetings. And of course, sometimes it's been replaced with Bible studies um, or small groups, which is great uh, in and of itself, but because we need fellowship. We need to fellowship with one another. Uh, so I just want to encourage you today to make sure you're part of a fellowship. You know, our church today, this morning at 11 o'clock, uh, we have a small group meeting in our fellowship hall uh, that you would be welcome to be a part of. Um, you know, people show up and basically do Bible study from 11 to 12 and um, a lot of them bring, bring kind of a, a lunch with them, a sack lunch with them or whatever, and then they have lunch together, but you wouldn't have to be a part of that. But it's just that opportunity to gather with others and, and talk about it and digest and the, the, the lesson and build relationships. Paul said, <clears throat> I'm sorry, in the, in the Hebrews it says, don't forsake getting together. We can't fall under the lie that we can do this on our own. We're not designed to do this or not. We're designed to meet with other people, be encouraging to other people, be uplifting to other people, and have them be those things to us. So I encourage you today, find a place to get involved. Uh, if not, you know, in your local church, uh, maybe something closer to you, but either way, find people that you can get involved with and pray with and bless and be blessed by. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you that your design for us was to be in relationship not only with you, but with those around us. Father, help us to reach out and redevelop those habits of getting together. Help us, O oh Lord, to commit to it uh, and, and, and may you use it to encourage us and to meet our needs. Father, may we also be used to encourage others and to meet their needs. And, and Father, may you just continue to help us to grow uh, in, in our love for you and our love for each other. And Father, may that love then blossom out to where others want to be a part of it. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we do pray for those who are hurting today. Maybe there's some who's watching this who uh, are struggling physically or spiritually or financially or emotionally, whatever the case is. Would you touch and bless them? And we pray for those in our lives um, that are struggling outside of us, but maybe our, our spouses or friends or family members, whatever it is. Father, we lift them to you and just pray your, your healing touch upon them. Father, again, we thank you for all that you're about to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.
Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants you to fellowship with each other. God wants you to, to see other people and be a part of that. So let's see how we can do that today. Let's see how we can be a blessing to one another. Have a great day. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow.